All right. So what does it mean? They're two and one, which is which is fine. Um, you know, they're the huge game for early season game. It's for an early season game. This is big, and it's it's Green Bay on Thursday. Who came from seventeen nothing down, and look, New Orleans had the lead. They blew it. New Orleans had a very makeable field goal at the end. They missed it, and so, all right, Pack found a way. Give him credit for that. But this is an early season showdown for division supremacy. Chicago and Minnesota, I mean, at 0-3, they're not technically out of it, okay? But they, they're they really behind the eight ball, and maybe this thing comes down to Detroit and Green Bay, and we maybe we know that already. But Green Bay, think of if you're Green Bay. You got the Lions coming in, you're upset about what happened a year ago, and you're thinking, we got to hold serve at home. We got to hold serve at home and win this game. Yeah, the Vikings are not are, are better than the record shows, but like last year, they weren't as good as the record shows. You know what's funny year. is the Vikings are suddenly, karma. They're they're suddenly finding a way to lose. Yeah, exactly. The games that they won last year with like eleven of them were one score games. They were able to win. Um, this year, they're not finding that way to win those. They're zero and three in one score games, and, and it's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I suspect that they're going to win plenty of games this year. Well, not plenty to get into the playoffs, but they'll win. They'll win some games here. The Bears are a different story. The Bears have no identity right now. They're a team in chaos. They're not really believing in the, in the, in the quarterback. They got housed yesterday. Yeah, embarrassed. And so what are they going to do moving forward? I mean, there's talk that, 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 hey, Bears get one of the top picks are taking a quarterback like they're going to give up on Justin Fields already. They've got to figure that situation out and take take your time, Chicago. So then you take a, a zoom out a little further. The NFC, look, it's top heavy. I think, you know, you got Philadelphia and San Francisco at the top. They look every bit as strong as they were expected to be. Dallas took one on the chin yesterday. You don't oh. lose at Arizona, one would think. Dallas maybe, looked like they were one of those teams, and then that happened. Maybe Detroit, Dallas. I don't know if anybody from the NFC South is is really all that great. Maybe Detroit, Dallas, and Seattle are, are kind of the next level of teams. Yep. So in the NFC, Philly and San Francisco are up top. Detroit, Dallas, Seattle. Is that who's battling for to be the next challenger? Could be. Could be. I mean, Green Bay, I guess we got to include Green Bay. But if Detroit wins this game Thursday, man, it's already short week. Feels feels like we're already at a Wednesday cuz I'm looking forward to that game and it's right around the corner yeah. and it's a big one, man. It's a big one. Can't wait. I think we got a random tweet last uh, last week asking and the Lions and Green Bay, Lions and Green Bay will play twice this year, both on Thursdays. Has that ever happened before? <laughs> and I don't know. I suspect it hasn't, but I have no reason. You know, Lions don't get a ton of primetime games. Well, I'd rather play Green Bay at Lambeau in September than to take them on later in the season at Lambeau. Although the Lions handled just fine last year. I was about to say, because yeah, they year. struggled last year later in the season? No, well, typically it's a house of horrors for the Lions, but somehow the last few years they've been able to cobble together some wins over Green Bay.